straw stall. The first thing I do is I look around and I assess. The next thing I'll do is if I can, I will scoop up with my straw fork as many intact piles of manure as I can see and throw them away first in my wheelbarrow. Um, I'm not going to go through this um, too carefully if I don't see them right away. The next thing I'm going to do is start to sort. And because I know this horse's habits, I know that this corner in the back here is going to be very clean. He never will mess up over here. His wet spot is usually there. This is the gelding stall, by the way. And I know that somewhere in here, I'm going to find one pile of manure. But first, I'm going to turn my fork around. This is just a three-time um, straw fork. Obviously, it's not going to be much good to pick up um, any little bits of manure. But what it does is it allows me to move straw quickly and a lot of straw at a time. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, put, push it backwards and just start to pile clean straw up in the corner of the stall there. And then as soon as I can see that I'm not really going to find any dirty manure here. Oh, no, there it is. I knew I would find one. I knew I would find one pile in this um, corner. He always has one pile for this corner. And I am able to get my fork under it, so it goes into the wheelbarrow first. Um, after that, I don't think I'll find anything much more in this corner. And so I'll start to vigorously and quickly throw all the clean straw that I can find from this half of the stall up into this corner. I know pretty much I am not gonna find too much against this wall. I might find something in the front here. I think I will um, because I let them hang their heads out. And so when he stands there, he'll probably have made some manure. I can move my other tools out of the way. Um, I do bring almost every tool that I have into the stall with me because at some stage I'll be using them. Okay, you can see I'm putting a lot of straw in this corner. I'm going to start to pull back the straw, pull in a mat, and what I will say is that if the straw is clean, it's going to slide quite easily across the mat. So I can quickly gauge by just pulling at it a little bit whether I'm going to find anything dirty underneath. If I do, I just stop um, sliding right there and I just go around. But as you can see, I can just grab lots and lots and lots of clean straw, slide it up against the mat, pull it into this corner, and I'm starting to separate the dirty straw from the clean straw. I'm leaving behind the dirty straw. And I, again, so I just go into this corner. So I heard something there. So I pull something in there. There's going to be one piece, one big pile in there. I can grab it from underneath. I throw it in the wheelbarrow again and um, start to separate. Sometimes I can get underneath it and just kind of fling it back like that. And the dirty stuff is heavier, so it'll just fly out of the straw into what is going to become my pile of dirty straw that I'll be discarding. Um, the dirty and wet straw is going to wind up in one pile, and all the rest of the straw in the stall is going to end up somewhere else. So here's a big dirty pile here, a little bit of clean that I can skim off the top and throw onto that side. Um, lots more clean that I'm pushing away. It's more dirty that I'm pulling into the dirty pile. So very quickly, I'm going to be able to separate the dirty from the clean. Of course, I know this horse's habits, so I know where I'm going to find the dirty and where I'm going to find the clean. Where I can expect the wet pile to be, where I can expect the pile of manure to be. And um, that's half the battle is knowing this in advance. This horse has been in here overnight, so it's not a particularly 
between the skull. Um, but he's only been overnight, so it's not a particularly dirty skull. Sometimes, um, sometimes the horses have to be in longer if we have quite a bad storm. And in those times, I will try to get out here a few times to um, pick the stalls in between deep cleans. But um, this is, I would say it's pretty average. He's not a big messer um, and he's predictable. He's 28 years old, so um, here we go. It's not even particularly wet, but there's the dirty. And I've got just this other bit right over here. And there's a little bit more wet there. So what I've done is I've pulled this um, pile of what I'm going to discard, and I've separated it from the clean stuff. Now I'm going to pull the wheelbarrow just a little bit closer and pitch all this into the wheelbarrow. Okay. Yes, there will be a bit of clean in there that I'm going to be discarding. That's a question of, is it worth my while to further separate that out? It depends on how poor I am and how economical I have to be. Time is money, but if it's my time, sometimes it's less money. So, anyway, here I am getting down to just the very last Dirty. I'm going to switch my pitchfork now from the three time pitchfork to a regular, a regular shaving fork, the plastic kind. I've got the tunnel, so this actually is a lot easier on my wrists than messing with shavings. Just you no know, comparison as it is versus how wet it is. This is the last of it. This is the last of it. Yes. That's all there is except for kind of into the front. This is all clean. There's some clean hay in the front here. And um, pretty much separating it out from the straw. He did a good job though. He's, um, I forget if I already said he's 28 years old. So I'm finding um, very few quits in here actually. He seems to quit things up and then change his quits and then spit them out. Thank you. 